if I can grow it myself, I'm going to grow it myself. These are just old screen doors, storm doors, all kinds of frost forms on these, which is not ideal. In something this small, you're sacrificing a lot of space by doing that. And we have actually tried. Welcome back guys. It is absolutely freezing out here. Squalls coming in off Lake Superior, dumping snow absolutely everywhere. Highway has been closed for at least a day, maybe two now. I haven't been paying attention, but it's toasty warm in the greenhouse. I have a bit of work to do in there today, and I figured I'd show you what I'm going to be up to. So, because I'm going to be installing lights in here pretty soon, and there's not much in here to reflect that light, I'm going to put in some of this shiny Mylar insulation. I'm going to put this on the back wall and on these two back parts of the east and west walls. It's really warm in here. It's really nice. It is currently minus 9 outside, plus 18 inside. That's in Celsius. The windows on the front area of the greenhouse here are all double pane glass. Sliding windows, these are old double pane patio doors, so they're really good at insulating. But on the back here, these are just old screen doors, storm doors basically, so there's not much to them at all. You can see the frost forming on them. All kinds of frost forms on these, which is not ideal. Just shows how cold that it is on this back side of the greenhouse. So what I'm going to do today is cover this back little part on each side with the storm doors and then the entire back wall aside from this little sheet metal that I have here. I'm going to cover this entire thing with this stuff. Reflectix. Cool name. four foot by 25 foot roll so I should have just enough maybe a little extra to do the entire back here including the two side walls these two sides are gonna take a little bit of jigging around to do so I think I'm gonna start just by stapling this to the bottom cover this gap here. So a bit extra length. bottom off again be a little something like that along the back wall obviously I'll be losing a little bit of light from the Sun but the Sun mainly shines in on this side so I'm not too worried about that I'm gonna gain some extra insulation and once the lights are put in some reflection I think Caddis wants in you want to come in what's going on 
You having fun out there in the snow? Hey? You wanna go back out? Okay, here we go. Have fun. While I'm doing this, I figure I might as well get to a few of the common comments and questions and things like that that we get about this greenhouse. It's not our first winter greenhouse. We've been attempting this for a number of years. We started in Manitoba. It's much colder there than it is here. So, very common. Why don't you just use big black 55 gallon drums as a heat sink to keep it warm? And in a much larger greenhouse situation, that makes sense. In something this small, you're sacrificing a lot of space by doing that. And we have actually tried this was in one of our first greenhouses out of Manitoba. All of these Rubbermaids underneath here are filled with water, as is this rain barrel. And honestly, it really did nothing. It, it, it did not change the overnight temperature inside the greenhouse whatsoever in our case, likely because the greenhouse was small and we could only fit so many of those in there. So that is why we don't use that method in this greenhouse. The, the raised beds in here are really large. They're close to two feet tall and they're filled entirely with soil. And you can see the soil does maintain pretty decent temperature. It's about 15 degrees Celsius right now. I can't see water buckets being any warmer than that really. So that's why we're not using big water barrels as, as our heat sink in here. The wood stove does great in this size of a greenhouse. Another idea that comes up sometimes in the comments or in questions is the hotbed system. Another thing that we played with, again, out in Manitoba, we set up a composter inside of our greenhouse and the composter did work. It got really hot, even when it was like minus 25 or something like that. The compost heater was good and hot. But aside from that, I think it's looking all right. Now all we gotta do is fill it up. But again, not enough for the cold, cold temperatures that we have here. Admittedly, that was kind of a silly experiment that we did out in Manitoba because of how cold it is. The thing did generate heat, it worked, and possibly on a larger scale, it would help to keep things a little bit warmer if you tented things off in there and had some covers on everything and stuff like that. But again, it just was not warm enough to grow. Permits to build a greenhouse. I don't know where you live, so I don't know what your situation is with having to get permits to build little structures like this. In our case, we live in an unorganized township. There are virtually no permits to be obtained here. It's one of the bonuses of living in this area. So you're gonna have to check with your local municipalities, all that stuff. I have no idea, not a clue. Why not attach the greenhouse to your house? Well, there's a few reasons for that. Big one, we're planning on renovations and additions on our house. So adding a greenhouse right now does not make sense because we don't know exactly what we're doing with it. Another reason, we built this thing out of an old cabin that was ripped down on the property. All of the wood in here is reclaimed, all of it. And it's not something that I particularly want to attach to my house. Old, possibly rotting wood, things like that. The south side of the house is where our driveway is. So putting the greenhouse there doesn't necessarily make too much sense unless we rejig the whole driveway and all that stuff. It's also right on the edge of the forest and the amount of sunlight that would come into the greenhouse if it was there would be nothing compared to what it is out here in the open where we put it. The old wallapini or dugout greenhouse. We live on bedrock, we can't dig. We have about 12 inches of topsoil here. We would love to have one. It was a dream at one point in time, but here, not gonna happen. And the costs, oh, the costs of doing this. Well, frankly, we're not in this about saving money or anything like that. Going to the store could be cheaper, could be easier. Problem is it's about 45 minutes to an hour each way for us to go to the store to get supplies. Oftentimes at this time of the year, the highway gets closed for days at a time. So we can't really necessarily count on just being able to go to the store 
to get some fresh greens or anything like that that we might want to eat. That's why we put a lot of focus onto developing a year-round greenhouse here. Outside of that, it seems that every other week there's a recall due to listeria, due to E. coli on all kinds of produce and things like that in the grocery store. Tonight, Dole Fresh veg Vegetables now is recalling a limited and number of cases of garden salad. And some salad brands across the country are being recalled over due to possible, possible bacterial food recall alert tonight. Food line brand recalling is in the store prepared by Hobbs and Chef's Dole is recalling some salads because the greens could be contaminated with listeria. No thanks. If I can grow it myself, I'm going to grow it myself. All right. That is looking great. That's going to give us some excellent reflection once we get the lights installed. Beautiful. Reminds me, I really need to get all of this stuff trimmed up on the ceiling here because it might almost be a good idea to put some of this stuff up there too. Now I get to put everything back together. I had to disconnect a bunch of electrical stuff, take the fan down, all that stuff in order to put this stuff up. So hopefully that answers a few of the questions about the whys and the hows and all that stuff about the greenhouse here. Any other questions? Just comment below. I'm going to start working on the lights and getting seeds planted in here tomorrow. It's working. And a nice big one for the wildebeest. Big kale bone. Yep. That's part of it.